and that did a lot to a Galeen. That did a lot. What is going on, guys? We are back for week six of the NCL. This time we got a match against Desmond, aka coach of the Dublin Dusclops. And let me show off his team real quick. He's got a very offensively minded team. So I kind of wanted to come back and hit him with offensive team myself. If you want to see more videos, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to not miss out on any of the new videos. I appreciate the support on the Dondozo video. Please bear with me with this video. I am feeling under the weather and sick. So we're going to try to power through, get this video out for you guys, have something to watch for the week. Yeah, let's get right into the battle off rip i knew because his team was very offensive arcanine would be a great start to the match just because of intimidate and as you'll see every time anytime we see murkrow because we know i got prankster the ting will sing ting lu is coming in every time y'all so as we see your whirlwind it gets negated by prankster because ting lu is a dark type he goes into crogonal i knew he would switch so as a lot of people always joke about oh ting lu gets ruination ruination does ruinate everything and it's true if i have a free switch i'm clicking ruination because it's always going to do half the hp and chat Looked 17% from the freeze dry. The Vessel of Ruin plus AV. I'm living any special hit, so I decided to take the hit, hit it back with a heavy slam. That gets rid of Cryogonal. The freeze dry is great to get rid of now, as that leaves Quackleball with one less threat on the team. I'm not gonna lie here, we didn't have a lot of answers for this safe switch for Bruxious. And with how much that wave crash did, I'm assuming it was choice banded. And I'm not gonna lie, chat, I was literally just playing off of the static here. And I was like, 30% chance for static, he's gonna get it. And we got it the second time. That really negates the Bruxious right there, chat. So I decided to go into Quackleball because I know he's probably gonna leave. And I believe I U-turn out of here predicting the switch yep and every time when we see murkrow chat what are we gonna do the ting will sing back into ting lu ting lu finally getting his time to shine after being hyped up so much in the team builder draft video if you've seen that video and so he, he goes into his room i'm assuming he just wants to get rid of ting lu but again i can ruin it because i know he's switching he, murkrow cannot touch ting lu and here I go into Arcanine just because I want to get the Intimidate off because I know Roaring Moon is a very strong mod. He goes for the Terra Acrobatics. With the boost energy can do a lot, but the Intimidate kind of messed up the damage output. Here I click Willow. Realistically, I should have just hit him, but I thought, hey, maybe he'll want to stay in and potentially uh, kill me. And so here I just go Scizor because I was like, okay, it's paralyzed. And worst case, I think I'll eat one hit from Bruxious. And I believe here I U-turn, predicting a switch again, which I do, yep. And of course, when I see Toxtricity, what am I going to go into? Ting Lu because it's quad weak to ground plus Vessel of Ruin. However, what I, as you'll see later, he did run a physical Toxtricity. I was expecting special just because of the, the difference in his stat, which is why I went, I went for EQ there. He made a great switch going to Murkrow. Great read right there. However, he has to leave again. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hit Murkrow this time and click Heavy Slam. And that did a lot to a Galeen. That did a lot. I know Galeen don't got defense like that, but I was like, damn, that did a lot. And that, that makes my life easier. I'm like, okay, Galeen is one of the biggest threats for Tinglu. We chipped it down. Obviously he's gonna stay in. So I'm like, Arcanine, Intimidate. Anytime we see a physical attack or Arcanine, that's what you're here for. Swallowed that Drain Punch after the Intimidate. And with the Citrus Berry, I basically went back to what I was before I was hit. He goes back into Bruxious to take a hit. I hit him with a Play Rough. I just attacked what was in front of me because I knew I'd live a hit. And, and you know, unfortunate, he lives on the 1%. I'm like, damn, it would have been, would have made things easier if the Bruxious died, but it wasn't, it wasn't a game changer. He breaks through the paralysis of the Aqua Jet. Arcanine goes down, but it's okay. He did his job. We got a lot of the team ship. Here, I know I can go Scizor and the Bullet Punch to win because the Bruxious is paralyzed. So Bruxious goes down. The Scizor is, see, it's physically defensive, but I didn't no, I thought he was a special Toxtricity, so I U-turned out, predicting he was going to click a special attack, and then I go into Ting Lu again. See, but I didn't know he was physical here, so I still go Ting Lu, and I'm not going to lie, chat, I really didn't know Toxtricity's physical coverage like that, so he clicks Trail Blaze. I'm expecting him to switch because it's a Ting Lu, so I click Heavy Slam here, predicting the Murkrow again, or the Roaring Moon. He hits me again with Drain Punch, which is kind of an issue with stalling it out, and my, I don't know why I clicked Heavy Slam twice, chat, I guess I thought, oh, he'll leave this time. So these were definitely two misplays on my part. I should've just hit the Toxtricity after the first one for sure. And I'm like, okay, I can't lose Ting Lu because I need Ting Lu for Murkrow. So I'll go into Scizor. I know I can take one hit. And look what, chat, look what I use next. I'm like, okay, he's gonna hit me with a physical attack. How much did it do? Counter. Counter. Just the exact amount. Now the first one, I, he either got a really low roll or a really high roll the first time, but as you know, counter doubles the damage. So 19 was the lowest I could possibly do to Oko the Toxtricity. So I hit him with the counter. Haven't used that at all this season yet. So I was like, he's not going to expect it. That gets rid of the Toxtricity. And here I'm like, Scizor, you've done your job. You can just chip the uh, Roaring Moon because fun fact, Florgis is scarfed. It was scarfed for Gallade, Flamigo, and this Roaring Moon. So I'm like, okay, I'm fast in the Roaring Moon. He doesn't know that. Clean it up with Moonblast. And I'm gonna be honest here, chat. I need to make a business decision right now. I could Terra, have Floor just sweep. I'm like, for the thumbnail, for the YouTube channel, we gotta have another MVP of the battle. So I'm like, Floor just, you've done your job. Who do we still have left, chat? Ting Lu. Ting Lu's gonna call game and send it home. And that's gonna be the end of the match. Murkrow can't do anything at this point. He doesn't wanna have Gallade get hurt on entry with switching, so he just sacks the Murkrow here. Heavy Slam is gonna call game on the Murkrow. And then here, chat, we didn't have to, but I was like, I want Tinglu to be on the thumbnail. So we Terra Ghost here, because obviously he's gonna click a fighting type move. 
and that calls game drain punch it does nothing because of the terra ghost and i finished it with terra blast and yeah that is the match ggs to desmond that was that was a good match I, that definitely could have uh, went left because i was just standing on the trailblaze and drain punch with toxicity but we brought it back we are now four and two for the season so far the next couple weeks are going to be rough i play my, my divisional opponents three out of the next four weeks so the playoff push is real right now we're still second place in the division but it's a three-way tie technically based on our record hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.